A shocking revelation has emerged from the world of comedy. Dennis Igwe, the alleged founder of Makenjo Comedy, has come forward with a stunning claim. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to David's IPG YouTube channel. Please do watch to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time we drop new updates. Thank you. Nobody knows what this thing is just bringing. 2016 was the first time he gave me 50,000 naira. He said, okay, just hold this one. Eh? I know this is you know this is the brain money. A ratio of what you guys make every month, and mm -hmm. we're making hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Then, no, Jesus. On this video today, I'm going to tell you guys everything in details. What really happened and why these guys are trending. So, if you want to know everything about this whole saga, I will advise you watch this video to the end and don't skip any part of it. So, without wasting much of your time, let's dive into the video. Tell us, hmm? is there anybody in our family that is so dull? Mark, what is it? Dennis Igwe, who claims to be the founder of MacAngel Comedy Group, has come forward with serious allegations against MacAngel. Despite being an orphan, Dennis Igwe met MacAngel while he was working as a security guard in Port Harcourt. According to Dennis, he was instrumental in the creation of the comedy group and even provided the camera which he had stolen that was used to film their early skits. Despite this, Delicin alleged that Mark Angel monetized the group's content without his knowledge and paid him a minimal salary, despite the channel any significant revenue. My name is Dennis Nigui. Uh, I'm a comedian. Actually, I was the one that started Mark Angel Comedy. I was an orphan. Mark was the elder brother of the house. He's a, he's a security in Kilimanjaro, GRU, a Port Harcourt. I do camera work. For, like, I was learning camera. There's a man called Defying. So I stole the camera. On our own free time, I would do those comedy. So Max, okay, let us create a Facebook page and I said, okay. So I don't even know when it was monetized or anything. So I just keep doing this stuff. So suddenly, 2014, he bought a car. As the success of Mackenzie Comedy grew, so did Mackenzie's personal fame and popularity. However, this growth and success seem to be mostly benefiting Mark himself rather than the crew as a whole. Dennis Igwe. A key member of the team, Alec Damaku attributes his newfound wealth to gift, while Dennis received only minimal compensation, despite the group generating over $160,000 monthly from streams. Dennis claims that he only received 50000 naira in 2016. He now fears for his life, believing that speaking out against Mackenzie comedy could lead to harm. I said, how did you even get money to buy a car? He said somebody gave it to him. I said, okay, fine. And the thing is, I've not received 1,000 since that time. Because so he started paying money like 20,000 20, every month. You know, we, we were poor. So the parents were just people staying in a bacha. And this Emanuela is just, so they don't even know the value. Nobody knows what this thing is just bringing. 2016 was the first time he gave me 50,000 naira. He said, okay, just hold this one. Eh? I know this is you know, this the brain money. A ratio of what you guys make every month. And mm -hmm. we're making 160,000 dollars then. No? Jesus. So, see, the only person that can talk about him now is me. Because why? Me, I'm an orphan. He can't kill me. People say if you talk about him, you die. I was scared. Mm. Because he will just finish you. That is the truth. How it will happen? If you have a problem with him, it's either you die or you have accident. Despite being a co-founder of the Mark Angel Comedy, which is stated he generated the name Mark Angel Comedy. Thank you to Mark Angel Comedy staff and family. We say without you, we we'll make it this far. A very big thank you. Many suppose that he should be doing just as fine as Mark Angel, having houses, cars, and other ambassadorship deal just as Mark Angel, but recently, revelation shows that the young comedian is not doing well. However, claims from his lawyer states that Dennison doesn't even have a house to his name and that the last time they spoke, he was running up to get his rent paid after it expired. Successful, and this guy is struggling with house rent and a lot of things. You understand me? Then Mark Angel told me that it's not his fault, that he cannot carry everybody along, that even though um, he owns that, he had a lot of work to do on life he said a lot of things that he had it that is not the way most people think that he had so much work to do to get to where he is there's a way he explained it that he has tried his best they took to court he was compensated this one that one and so many things i say okay but right now let's forget what has happened in the past can we settle this issue dennis is not living well what can we do for this young man so then they give then the thing that the uh, mackenzie told me that he's willing to do anything for dennis but he cannot let dennis come back as a shareholder of mackenzie comedy because he has taken the brand really far already you understand me then i said dennis do you have a problem with that then dennis i don't know i can't even remember what dennis said but okay they gave him a blank check what do you want 
then Denny said that right now his rent have expired and he doesn't even have where he's staying that he's living with his sister then i even asked the sister can you confirm that what Dennis is saying is true the sister said yes and i said this does not sound good at all Dennison has also raised concern about the welfare of other comedians involved in mckinjo's comedy group including emanuela and auntie sources who he alleged still reside in mckinjo's home furthermore Dennison accuses mckinjo of lying about emanuela's achievement Specifically disputing the claim that Manuela bought a house for her parents. Then he says today that the house Mackenzie claimed Emanuela built was just a social media stunt and that she doesn't even have the means to do so. I don't know if you heard when they say Manala built a house, Manala built a house for the family, which Manala don't even know how much is blocked. I met a Manala that was last month. When you hear Manala post anything, Manala cannot post anything. Mark, Manala is living in a Mark's house, even till now. He manages it and handles it. Now you get the Instagram, TikTok, everything. Manala no get will of her own now. The four women they use, no, they logged into those accounts. Now you call them Mackenzie. Now me call them Mackenzie when they answer today. So when they put him on the even the sources, the sources they in house too. So the two girls they in house with a lot of boys. <laughs> and they get, those girls don't grow. See, me say, I'm speaking up for them because right now Emanuela cannot speak up for herself. You are the first people to get YouTube award. Even when they bring the award of one million views, uh, one million uh, subscribers. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, I said, ah, uh, how do people give award? They will give money. He said that in no And he said, the YouTube self, he won't even stop the oh, thing. Yes. Said, the, <laughs> the conflict between the two comedians has escalated raising questions about the group's financial management and treatment of its members. While the situation continues to unfold, it is important to remember that there are always two sides to every story, and it is essential to approach such matters with an open mind, seeking truth and justice for all parties involved. In due time, we hope to hear Mackenzie's side of the story, which will help us reach a fair and impartial resolution. To our viewers, we hope you found this coverage informative and engaging. If you have any thoughts or opinion on this matter, feel free to share them with us in the comment section. We appreciate your support, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more important updates. I'll see you all in another of my videos. Peace.